Good afternoon, folks. Larry Miles here, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm going to do the third lesson in my series I'm doing now called New Testament Postcards about the one chapter books of the New Testament. This, we had one introduction article, introduction lesson, and we had really the first one of the book of Philemon. So this is really lesson two in Philemon. Let's go talk about verses four to seven. We want to study the word of God together. If you have any comments on this, after I upload them, please make your comments. I'm doing these on Zoom, then I'm uploading to my hard drive and then using iMovie to make an MP4 with some slides, title slides and graphics, and then uploading to YouTube and then sharing that link on Facebook and other areas so that more people can get a chance to see these video Bible lessons. So today, Paul's appreciation for Philemon, verses four to seven of this epistle. Paul writes, I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. We see here about Philemon's love and faith put into practice. In verse 4, it stresses the importance of prayer in Paul's ministry. He says the same thing in Ephesians 1, 15 and following, Philippians 1, 3 and following, and in Colossians chapter 1, 3 and following. In verse 5, it says, hearing of your love and faith toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. Philemon's genuine love and faith in and towards the Lord Jesus resulted in his love for others. Romans 5.5, 5, Galatians 5.6, and 1 John 3 and verse 14 tell about that kind of genuine love. Other instances of hearing about the love and service of believers in the New Testament is found in 2 John 4 and 3 John 3 to 4, which we'll deal in more detail when we get to those two epistles. In verse 6 here in Philemon, as a result of Philemon's love and faith in and toward Jesus, he shares his faith. He didn't keep it to himself. He became a doer as well as a hearer of God's word, James 1 and verse 22. He puts his Christianity into practice. Because he's in Christ, his faith has become effective, thus seeking to obey the admonition of Jesus. If you love me, you will keep on keeping my commandments. John 14, verse 15. The results in a life where one's faith rubs off on those around him. Folks see you serving God and knowing that it is real for you can motivate others to seek to serve Jesus more and more. It can result in striving to reach the lost and strengthen the saved. It will motivate us to help the lost out of the domain of darkness and be transferred into the kingdom of his beloved son. Colossians 1 and verse 13. Verse 7 tells us about that a Christian can have joy in their lives because of the love another Christian shows in their life also. Thanks for watching this. The next lesson will be Paul's plea for Onesimus, verses 8 through 16. Lesson 3 in this lessons on Philemon. We thank you for watching this. Hope we can study the word of God together.
I'll be uploading this to some of my media outlets and social media later on today, perhaps, or in the morning. Keep looking up. Our Lord is coming back. It may be today. If it's not, let's be ready to serve him. If it is today, let's praise him that we belong to him, that we're going to be with him forever. And we'll be rid of this coronavirus and all the cares of this world. So keep looking up, folks. Our redemption is drawing nigh.